Hi, cats. You miss me? <sighs> what a month. That's all I'm going to say. What a month. Uh, what a goddamn month. If you missed me for that long, then I have no apologies. <laughs> First story of business. Mr. Trudeau. On uh, September 20th, won his third term as Prime Minister of Canada. And to that I say, Captain K Man! <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck that asshole. Two reasons why gas prices. Fucking gas prices are just as bad as they were 10 years ago, and they're bad again. Is that his fault? Possibly. If it, if it is, you got another thing coming there, you little pansy-ass caveman. You know, with, you know, I kept saying throughout the years, Trudeau, stay the fuck out of my humidor. Okay. We all see that. Now, I don't care if I rip this, but I'm going to prove a point. Taxpayers' dollars right there. What a fucking idiot. You know, like, what's wrong with this? Seriously, what's wrong with this band? I'll tell you what's wrong with this band. Taxpayer dollars. Fuck you. And trust me, this isn't the only celebrity I'm going to be fucking bad-mouthing in this video. So, let's get to the nitty-gritty. And let's have a molo for fun. So, anyways, I know Count Dankula got some heat from... These idiots, and I think people will know who I'm talking about. I tried making a couple videos about her, and all I gotta say is every single time I made a video about this person, or even tried to, she just keeps fucking up. You know. Oh, you, she can't even catch a break. I can't even catch a break. But for fuck's sake, just keeps fucking up, fucking up, and fucking up. You know, and <laughs> it dawned on me about a couple weeks ago about this person, Nicki Minaj. She puts out a fucking tweet about how a, one of her cousins got impotent from taking the vaccine. You're a fucking moron. Well done research right there. I don't care if you take the fucking poke or not. I literally don't. Because there's two reasons why. And this one relates to my situation right now. As most of you know, Saskatchewan put out a mandate that, number one, we got to put on our masks 
every time we enter a building. And number two, we got to show proof of vaccination, which means you got to carry around that stupid fucking card or go on e-health. <clears throat> That's what I think of it. Go on e-health and fucking uh, show proof of vaccination, which I do not have a problem with. I never had a problem with it. The funny thing is, is people who do have a problem with it saw it coming. Saw it coming. And they knew it was going to happen. And they still fucked up. They still fucking said, screw the poke. Let's get woke. Okay. Going back to Nicki Minaj. Nicki, I understand you want to do your research before you get the poke. But the fucking idiocy behind what you have done is fucking far beyond stupid and retarded. Far beyond. You know, she talks about how her cousin got impotent over getting the vaccine. Not true. Not true at all. But the thing is, what you did trying to hide your boyfriend's past or your husband's past, I don't know what the fuck is up. Okay, he served his time. Good for him. For a sex crime. But the fact that you fucking went out of your way to harass his victim. I'm sorry. If you are a Nicki Minaj fan, I don't respect her one fucking iota. Because what she did was fucking stupid. Extremely stupid. Fuck the whole vaccine thing. But the fact that her and her crew harassed this woman so maniacally that she had to move several times and now she had to come out and out of the... She had to come out of the fucking private eye and say something. She had to say something. You know, these are accusations. I'm going to admit that right now. But I have seen victims of harassment, victims of sex crimes, get harassed by their fucking perpetrators. And the fact that she fucking backed this person up, she's a fucking moron. There's only a few songs that I've heard from Nicki Minaj. And all of them suck. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. If you don't like it. And I'm not talking about leave it in the comments. I'm talking... Idiots. Going back to the caveman now. On top of the fucking gas prices, you know, I saw it coming. I saw it coming from a mile away that that the fucking gas prices were going to fucking skyrocket here in Saskatchewan. Who knows what how it is in the rest of our country. Only people in BC know, Manitoba, Ontario, you name the province, you know what I'm talking about. Mm. I have no respect for Justin Trudeau at all, anymore, ever, for what he's done to this country. And the fact that he's still fucking around makes me sick because fucking look, look at what Stephen Harper did to fuck this country up just as bad as the liberals have. 
and don't and to those political retards that come out of the woodwork saying Stephen Harper didn't do anything wrong neither did Hitler fuck you I don't care but I do care about my livelihood it's bad enough we've had a year and a half full of hell trying to get back to work trying to get our country back on track the carbon tax which everybody bitches about but yet what they don't know about the carbon tax I'm only gonna back the, this up because you get it back every year you get it back every year you get it back as a credit on your taxes Yes, I hate the carbon tax too, but you get it back every year. You know, and it just boggles my mind that people still voted for Trudeau. Oh, wait, I know why. I'm not going to say why, because then this video is going to get flagged. And I actually just got a death threat about this over the weekend. What I, what it is, <laughs> oh boy, starts with a T, ends with an N. The U.S. pulled out of that damn country. I think Biden's just as bad as Trudeau. Everybody says that uh, Trump was just as bad as Trudeau. Trump was just an idiot. And he's still being an idiot. You know, and I'm not bad-mouthing Trump's political biases. That's exactly what they are, biases. I'm bad-mouthing him as a character because he goes and does the insurrection. The insurrection failed, like most things in U.S. politics. Oh, by the way, speaking of the, the insurrection, AOC, you're a fucking idiot. You were not there. You were not there. And the quartering can back me up on that one. Anyways, getting away from politics, getting away from other shit there. No Time to Die came out and I... From what I hear, it's got a lot of negative reviews. Well, fucking Spectre had negative reviews. I think, personally, Spectre was okay. It was okay, not great. Like, I liked Chris, I liked Chris Waltz as fucking, uh, as fucking uh, Blofeld. He played a good villain in that movie. He always, he's a good villain character. Both him and John Travolta. That's one. That is one person I want to see in uh, in a Bond film is John Travolta as a villain. Make it happen, Hollywood. Make it happen. <laughs> but the one thing I hated about uh, Spectre was the fucking theme song and the fact that it won a fucking Grammy. <laughs> I don't even know why it got nominated at all. The song is bad. I haven't heard uh, No Time to Die's theme song. I always wait until uh, the Bond film. I go see the Bond film before uh, I make a, an attempt to listen to the to the tunes of it because I don't want spoilers. I Every single time I look up a movie, there are spoilers. Whether it's just to find out information on music or just in general, the movie itself, like the negative, the negative reviews. But um, 
I haven't seen it. I want to see it because Stogie, James, a.k.a. James Bond. <laughs> no, that's fucking bullshit. But anyways, uh, no. Uh, yeah, my first, obvious, it's in my fucking bio. My name is James. My real name's James. By the way, this month that I've uh, kind of avoided the internet, I got something big planned for my birthday. And it's gonna be funny and it's gonna be fun. So, as the official Silver Jedi, <laughs> I gotta point out a couple things. Well, one in particular. Uh, people are crying about uh, Dave Chappelle and his trans folk. Dave Chappelle did nothing wrong! You know, I'm gonna say this out loud. Dave Chappelle is one of my favorite fucking comedians. And to some, Justin Trudeau is some is his favorite or their favorite fucking uh, prime minister. Here's the thing about Trudeau, and here's the thing about Dave Chappelle. Both of them wore shit face. When I say shit face. Um, Dave Chappelle wore white face in his comedy special, the one that he regrets right now, and Justin Trudeau wore black face in his posts, which he regrets right now. Leave him alone! The whole fucking Justin Trudeau thing, he's an idiot. The whole Dave Chappelle whiteface thing, he's an idiot. The thing is, at this point, Dave Chappelle did nothing wrong. When I say he did nothing wrong, this whole fucking bullshit about uh, transphobic controversy through his special on Netflix I didn't watch it he did nothing wrong according to every fucking news article and they want to blame him for doing something wrong the thing is he did nothing wrong he pointed out a flaw in logic. I'm pointing out two different types of flaw in logic, but the thing with Trudeau, how the fuck was he going to know that uh, he was going to get backlash years later for doing it? The thing is, let's look at... Uh, that stupid, uh, I can't remember her name, Julian Howe, she's a fucking idiot. She wore blackface for a fucking Halloween party. And when I saw that, Julian Howe is a fucking idiot. With Trudeau, yeah, he was an idiot. With uh, Chappelle, <laughs> somebody told him to fuck, fucking put on that makeup. Get it right, people.
But anyways, uh, yeah, back to James Bond. Uh, you know, apparently this is supposed to be Daniel Craig's last outing as uh, Bond. Well, I don't believe that when me shit turns purple and smells like rainbow sherbet. I hate it when stars say that. Like, look at Michael Bay with the Transformers films. By the way, they suck ass. Except for the first one. The first one was actually pretty good. I didn't mind the second one, but then the rest of them just dipped in quality. And the fact that they fucking made two of those films made a billion dollars and then the last one failed miserably. Miserably. Fuck off. The last film failed miserably. Miserably. <sighs> fucking Michael Bay, retire. Just retire. You fucking suck. It's windy outside, so that's why I'm kind of looking out at the, the window here. Anyways, so... Uh, My last two videos, I got to explain something. Um, one of the things I had to do in the month of September was deal with a lot of personal demons. And uh, one of them was uh, going out to Estevan. And then when I came back, I heard about uh, Daphne. Daphne was a great wrestler. And then it came on the heels of uh, National Suicide Prevention Day. And the reason why there's no video about that is because uh, I did make a testimony there, but the video got... Sp just because pe people kept calling me and doing whatever there, the video got split up. Because... Here's my camera. My phone is my camera. So from here on in, whenever I do a video, I have to put it on Do Not Disturb because I want my video sound. And then uh, talking about 9-11 and then talking about my anniversary, which is my wedding anniversary, which happened on 9-11. I love my wife. I really do. You know, like, I was extremely out of character because I was dealing with a lot of personal demons. And uh, with uh, Daphne, those demons kind of came to light because I've had numerous head injuries. You know, concussions, post-concussion syndrome, brain bleed. You know, there was a time in my life where I lost three years of my life. You know, I'm still here. I'm still here, but, you know, it just... I was really out of my comfort zone around that time. And I had to make those videos. I had to make those videos off script and out of character. Because... I don't know how I could put a humorous spin on death or a humorous spin on the tragedy. <clears throat> I just can't. You know, and most people will agree with me on that. That they can't do it. You know, here I am now. I, I have a job. I uh, work nights now, but... You know, it's better than nothing. I, I'm a night hawk anyway. I work nights. I uh, It's physically demanding. And that's where I've been the last month. And, you know, I wanted... To, I did make attempts to make videos. I did. You know, especially today, like Thanksgiving. Canadian Thanksgiving. I 
really wish I could have been in character. I really wish I could have been in character because a lot of my friends say when I put a funny spin on things, it, it actually is pretty funny. But around that time, I just couldn't. And I hope, I hope from here on in, things will get better. Knock on wood that things will get better. I've been out on, out of touch on everything since the beginning of September. And now we're into October. And I have to explain why. Like, I want to make that video for Violent J because... Growing up, I loved that. I loved ICP's music. Problem is, is getting the money, getting the resources, getting the help. And when I say help, I gotta, I need help with the Fago hunts. But in any case, uh, going on to the positive of things. This entire month, I, I kind of had writer's block, too. Like, try, you know, like I try to do what Count Dankula does. I try to, I, I try to do what fucking uh, the guys from South Park do. They try to put comedic spins on different sources of uh, of current events like you know Count Dankula's Udi Hussein video I like that video I actually really liked that video they he explained a lot about who the son of that idiot dictator was. And then, uh, <clears throat> the guys from South Park, I haven't watched South Park in two years. I, I'm completely behind because I am struggling financially. And when I say struggling, I mean I can get by. Yeah, I gotta stop doing this at some point. You know, weed is my medication. Cigars are my go-to uh, relaxation time. This is my relaxation time. I haven't done this in over a month. You know, and now that it's getting colder out, like it's not warm anymore. It's actually, what's the temperature outside right now? Um, eight degrees outside. That's why I'm wearing my jacket. That's why I'm in the garage. Usually I, I film in the backyard. Winter time I film in here. Or I'll film downstairs. But, uh... I, had to ex I have to explain myself. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, like, I like to put my comedic spin on current events. It's, it's what I do. It's what I like doing. You know, I made that video about Dr. Disrespect. I didn't get very many views on that video, but it was a good video. I liked it. I loved doing that. But sometimes it's just worth biting the bullet and just taking a break. You know, this is my hobby. It's not my, it's not my bread and butter. My bread and butter is my job right now. I've managed to make it there three weeks. Pretty much right after the election, I got, 
I got hired and thank God that I have this job because this year and a half was extremely, extremely bad. You know, now things are going to get better. I know they're going to get better. Knock on wood that they're going to get better. I just want to entertain you. I want to show people the real James, the real character that I am. I want to be that guy who doesn't care about money, just cares about his passion. And I'll tell you, tell you something. I've been watching uh, some, <clears throat> you know, because I, I'm not going to say where I got these videos from. I actually got them a long time ago. Uh, I've been watching uh, old mainframe TV shows like uh, Beast Wars and Reboot. Do not reboot the Guardian Code. That show sucks. The original reboot was fucking awesome. The first two seasons. Oh, yeah. The third one amped it up to 10 and worked. Beast Wars only lasted three seasons where reboot lasted four and now has a reboot itself. The Guardian Code, which sucks ass. I haven't even seen the second part of the first season of that show. And I don't even know if they're... Uh... Actually, I'm going to look that up. Um, I just want to know if uh, they actually made a second season or not. And nope, nope, they didn't, thank God, that show sucked, I feel bad for all those teen actors and actresses who uh, were in that show, because now they're, uh, I haven't seen any of their their recent stuff. Any of them. And it upsets me that the person who made this show or this reboot of Reboot Who knows if they have a career anymore? I hope they do. Because uh, it would be a crying bloody shame if uh, their careers went on a, out on a whimper on this uh, ass face show. You know, they claim there's a second season. No, there's just one season. It was just split up into two parts, 20 episodes, 10 episodes each, you know, trying to make it look as good as it, it, it does, but no, that show sucks. The original was way better. You know, like they left that show on a cliffhanger, but they didn't follow up on it. Why? I don't know what's going on, but that is scaring the shit out of me. But anyways, uh, as I said before, I'm going to do better this month. You know, like I, I yet to see something from Rainbot. Rainbot, I, I like her. Her stuff is really good and. You know, I, I had to comment on her video there that uh, about uh, the 
John, John Doe that uh, killed himself. They finally released the name of the person, thank God. Their families can actually now uh, be at peace with uh, what happened to them. But uh, I really miss her stuff. And I hope whatever hiatus she is on, uh, she'll come out striking good. She's really good at her stuff. You know, she worked with Rob Dyke, well, now Rob Yavigan. You know, her stuff, both their stuff is really good. You know, I love the fact that they talked, or in a few of their videos, they talked about uh, Saskatchewan. Both tragedies, but, uh, you know, the Humboldt bus accident and then uh, the John Doe that killed himself by jumping in front of a train. They were good videos. Don't get me wrong, they were good videos and I really liked them. Rob and Rainbot, if you hear this, come back soon. But anyways, I think I'm just gonna cut it from here. I talked about uh I talked about what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about Trudeau and his gas prices and then I also wanted to talk about Nicki Minaj. I wanted to talk about Nicki Minaj for a long time because what she did was fucking stupid. And I don't care what their fan what their fan or what her fan base does to me. Fucking fly. Just know this. Stupid is as stupid does. I have no respect for Nicki Minaj, I'm sorry. Not after what she did to that rape victim. Anyways, I think that's it. I think that's it for now. I've gone ranting on for over 30 minutes, so. Until the next time. Cheers.